G'day folks and welcome to World of Tanks with the Magnificent Margon. Um, doing something a little bit different. Um, decided to do a little bit of a new sort of segment thing. Um, I'm basically calling this her what? Um, the idea behind this one was I have a lot of matches where I I do a lot of damage or I do a lot of or I take a lot of damage and block it um, and unfortunately this is probably the worst one to start with because I can't actually show you other than the damage I do in this one um, and generally the idea behind this is it's something that I um, the battles that I've lost more or less um, or I've won I, I'm not going to show you the ones that I've won by like doing 200 damage or running around doing no damage because everyone has those ones but this is the one where I play exceptionally well but we lose or um, I play with uh, platoon buddies and we lose or we win um, I'm, I'm sort of just throwing it out there as a, a, a random thing um, for this to actually work properly um, for me to actually show the results and stuff like I planned on doing um, I need to actually um, let the battle play out and continue instead of quitting out. Um, now generally when I'm grinding to get certain things done I actually just quit the battle quickly after I die, get into the next tank and go for it. So yeah, um, basically as most people do. Here we are, one, one, two, and a T29. Now they both spotted me but I found that occasionally if you get the teams that don't actually um, do what I'm currently doing and secure this location early you can get up here and side scrape quite nicely and get some nice damage on other tanks and teams. Now, I'm, I know the IS is trying to get around me but I have got prime location to just open up on this 112 and I'm not giving it up for anyone. Now the T29 is down. If you look at the map there's a 21 and the Waffentrager Panzer 4 over the left. Um, yes, they are a concern to me, but they're not a huge concern. It's just like where that 112 is. He's not a concern. Um, I can't shoot him. He's buried himself behind there. So the flak bus seems like the next best thing to drive some good damage into. He's 75 on my right. And... Oh, he's missed me. And... That was a panicking shot. Oh, there's someone now shooting me from behind. Who actually did that? So the IS actually damaged my gun. Okay. I always wondered how my gun got damaged. Um, I didn't actually repair the gun because I was like, eh, I don't need it. I just shoot things with this thing. This thing doesn't need a gun. As you can see, I'm trying to side scrape into the next area. Get around this IS. I use him as a bit of a shield. So I can pop out over here and do this and just go, yep, 54, bang. Um, as you can see, I'm up to nearly 2,000 damage already. Um, I have I haven't really blocked too many shots. I've blocked a few. Now that was just terrible aiming there. I was aiming for his turret a bit more. Saw the um, Wolf and Traeger sort of coming back now, and we've cleaned up most of their team. We're actually in a very very strong position. Um, E50 in the distance there. And there's a shot. Come on. There we go, a bit more damage. There's 2,100 damage. E1, see, so we're, we're controlling this quite nicely. There we go, another good hit. E75's there now, he's firing on the 44, so he's not he's not a threat for me as of yet. He, he's about to become a threat. This Waffentrager rolls out, takes out the IS-8 beside me. And this is where, and I'll pause it, this is where... I make a very stupid, stupid decision because I followed him, and and this is what, this is why I've called this segment the hurt what, um, because instead of being back here, allowing my gun and my tank to just bounce and to, like I can wear a shot from him, that's fine. Um, I get myself miles out of position now. I'm Pretty, pretty secure here. It's not like the Wolf and Trake could do much to me. Um, he's sort of got... I don't understand why the SU never pushed up on him around there and took the threat off me and put it onto him. But he didn't, for whatever reason, and that's fine. Um, 
so I know that you 75s it and this is where I saw oh okay that's right it was a lane 40 my bad on that 244 that was my bad saw he moved up and went oh I could probably move up a bit further now and use this guy as a bit of a a bit of a spider I can then side scrape for the E75 I thought the Waffentrager was being dealt with but he actually dealt with our issue came back and then continued to shoot me up and as you can see I am now in the worst position I'm now trying to side scrape for him coming I've missed him because I rushed my shot uh, I've side scraped for one driven out in front of the S uh, E75 shot and this is where things go wrong. I'm trying to reverse, got walls in the way, I'm just, I'm stuck and I'm stuffed and this is where it went from being great to really bad in about 10 seconds. I'm trying to get my tank out of here to keep it alive a bit longer. Not doing too well, engines damaged, guns damaged, keeping my gun slightly turned on this Waffentrager and here comes the U75 and that's it for me. Um, and and this is what I'm talking about in the battles um, more or less um, this is the situation I was trying to avoid happen and I got over eager because that the rain 40 drew, drew me out there I got too much damage taken me in the end um, all in all like 3000 damage is not bad I'm, I'm really happy with that now I haven't got the top gun on this tank I'm about 10,000 away. Um, I haven't played this tank a lot this week, the U75. I've been playing a lot of the Tiger P, uh, not Tiger P, sorry, the um, T28 Pro. Um, I'm really keen to get myself a T30. I, I really have been impressed by the T30 for a long time. Uh, probably the T29 more so than the T30. Um, but in saying that, um, the T28 with the right group has been very powerful particularly for Kaz and Harlequin um, as you know Harlequin just came back recently and joined in so he's been playing with his uh, leopard type prototype A I should say um, and Kaz has been on his Tiger 2 because um, he's working on getting no not the Tiger 2, he's been on his T-44, his Russian medium tank, which he's been having a lot of success with. He loves that tank at the moment. Um, he played the object uh, 430, I believe it is, or 216, I can't remember what it is at tier 8. Um, I'm sure, if you want to correct me, you can put it into the comments below, but it's one of those two, I'm pretty sure. Actually, it might be the two one, uh, the 216, or is it the 416? I can't remember, there's too many numbers, I'd have to look it up. And I'm not going to do that because I can't be bothered. Um, basically, yes, he's been very happy with not doing that. He just said, without having the gun depression on that tank, it makes it very difficult for him. And he just couldn't play it, and he just got frustrated, sold it, and gave up on it. He said, no, nah, not playing this one anymore. Goodbye. So now he's got the Russian T-44, and he loves it. He, he's loved it. He went down the 3485. He's got a mark of excellence on that tank, and he he loves it. And that, that at the tier six range, the thirty four eighty five is he's just smashing people. I jumped in my um, VK thirty one P, I think it is now. I think they've changed it to, which is a tank just before the Tiger P, um, and joined him many times with that one. As you saw, there was a video a while back, which was of me just using a. Um, HE gun or a howitzer and just blowing things up because it was fun and <laughs> it paid off sometimes as much as it was stupid uh, it was the only thing at the time I couldn't get its top tier gun to work for me and I thought you know what if I can't get it to work I'm just going to blow stuff up by using a HE gun which is only like a tier 5 gun in a tier 6 battle um, but then I changed and got back into using the gun properly and it's worked for me um, so yeah guys this is my sort of semi new segment on um, to go and co and sync with um, the boom time basically because the boom time really is like this but this is unfortunately not really boom time this is me getting boom time on myself so hope you've enjoyed this um, as you can see 3000 damage I can't show you how much I actually blocked in the end it was actually 3000 I blocked by memory off the top of my head I've, I've been keeping this on file 
so I've got a few I'm going to be releasing over the next few days uh, I'm going to do a couple of good recordings tomorrow um, I was going to do it today but I got caught up discussing other things I needed to discuss um, with other people so I'm going to do a little bit tomorrow and um, yeah share some awesome times that I've had recently and some really great matches I've played in platoons with Harlequin again so it's been good to have him back and welcome back again Harlequin to playing with tanks again after your break you've had um, but that's how that guys look I hope you've enjoyed this happy hunting I'll catch you on those battlefields